In this video you will learn how to check element normals. Assign element material orientation using the following system ID, vector and angle. For this example, go to composites option in the 2D panel. Click on element normals sub panel. Toggle the option to color display. Click display. You can see that the color of all the elements changes to blue. This means all the element normals are in the same direction. To view this in vector form, change the option to vector display. Click display button. The element normals will be displayed in the vector form. Click reverse button to reverse the direction of the normals. When you zoom in, you can see all the element normals facing in the outward direction. Now, let's see how to align the material orientation using material orientation subpanel. For this example, select all the elements. Change the material orientation method to by system ID. Activate the system selector and select the rectangular system. In the size field enter size equals to 2. This value specifies, in model units, how large the review vectors are, when displayed. Click assign button and you can see the material orientation assigned to the specified system. Open the card edit panel in the collector's toolbar. Change the entity selector to elements. Select any element in the model and click Edit button. This function assigns the ID of the coordinate system to the selected elements. This can be verified by reviewing the MCID field of the Sequad 4 card populated with System ID 1. Also, you can check the angle of orientation by changing to Theta option. Let's go back to the composite panel and check other methods to set the material orientation. Click Reset button to reset the orientation. Select all the elements again. Set the material orientation method to by system axis. With the system selector active, select the rectangular system. Set the local axis about which the material is to be oriented. Here, let's set to local axis 1. Click project button and you can see that material is oriented to the specified system axis. Reset and check how the orientation changes for different local axes. You can see there is change in orientation when local axis 2 is selected. This shows the material orientation for the local axis 3. You can also go to the card edit option and check the change in angle of orientation. Let's go back to the composite panel and see the next method to assign the orientation. Select all the elements. Set the material orientation method to by vector. With vector selector active, select the radial R vector from the spherical coordinate system. The R axis will flash once when you click on it. With B selector active, select the origin of the local spherical system as the base. Click Project button and you can see the material orientation assigned about the specified vector. Let's reset and see the next method. In the Angle field, enter 45 degree. 
click set button and the orientation will be set to 45 degrees. To cross examine, go to card edit option. Thank you for watching the video.